So hi and welcome to this video. So today we're going to be learning about is cookies in PHP. Uh, and what I'm going to talk about is just basically what cookies are and how you can use them uh, on your website. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing you're probably wondering is what is a cookie? So a cookie is just a small file that a website embeds or a web server embeds on a user's computer um, that sort of uh, uh, can be used to store data specific to that user. So if you wanted to store like the user's preferences, um, for example, if you allowed your website to have themes, you could store a user's specific theme preference in a cookie file on their computer. So that way each time they went onto your website, you would know which uh, theme they wanted to display. Um, so that's one use for it. Another use is to identify users. So for example, if you were using a login system, you could, uh, when the person logs in, you could set a cookie for it. Um, so that way they would only have to log in once and then your website could remember to keep them logged in. Uh, so let's find out how to actually create a cookie. So to create a cookie in PHP, they have a function called the set uh, cookie function. And one thing to note about this function is that it has to be above all the HTML tags. So for example, if I had a simple web page here, um, and I just give it a title actually. And some body text, so um, I don't know, this is my web page. And uh, the set cookie function has to be above the uh, HTML tag or else it won't work. So uh, for example, if you wanted to use the set cookie function, uh, whoops, here on your web page, you wouldn't use it here because it won't work. So you have to actually just use it ab uh, above your web page. Uh, above the um, HTML tags, like that. So um, this function itself does have uh, syntax. So uh, what I mean by that is it just means that the function takes specific arguments in a specific order for it to actually work properly. So the way these uh, arg the arguments this function takes are name, so uh, the name of the cookie, the value you want to give the cookie, the time it takes for the cookie to expire. Um, it actually also takes path and domain. And what these last two are actually, these last two are actually optional, but the uh, path one just means that the cookie only works. Um, the cookie can only be, uh, well path actually means the uh, path on which the domain, of the domain of which uh, the cookie will actually be available to. So for example, if you set a cookie in a folder called images, uh, and you set the path of the cookie to slash images, it would only be available for images in every folder within that uh, images folder. But if you, for example, set the path to the forward slash, that means root. So it would set the uh, cookie to be available in every uh, directory on the domain. The domain parameter just means that um, it just defines the domain that it can be the uh, cookie can actually be defined on and used on. So uh, for example, if you were to do, um, I don't know, hyco.org, then it means the cookie would only be, uh, would only work on hyco.org. But if you wanted it to work on the subdomains of hyco.org, you could just put a uh, an asterisk here and then a dot, and then that would mean every subdomain. Otherwise, if you wanted just specific ones, you would just put in whatever the name of the subdomain was. Um, uh, for it to be uh, to work on that specific subdomain. There's also another one another parameter called secure and the secure parameter just means uh, whether the cookie works on over a HTTP connection or HTTPS connection um, And just in case you don't know um, At the moment you can see here. There's no it's, there's no HTTP in front of the URL which shows this is just a HTTP connection uh, and you can see if I just type in HTTP uh, it just removes it, but it actually is a HTTP connection. And we can also check with the site information. It says identity not verified, and it says that the connection is not secure, or I mean, uh, not encrypted even. Uh, and well, this shows us that this is a HTTP connection. So if we set secure to, to no, then it means it would uh, work on a HTTP connection. But if we, for example, went to a website that had a HTTPS connection, for example, this subdomain, 
and I know it's got a login and a register form, uh, but they don't actually work yet, they're just a work in progress. But as you can see now on the um, login uh, section, on the SSL subdomain, uh, we can see we have a HTTPS connection, and this uh, followed by a green box actually as well. And this shows us that the uh, connection to this is secure, and we can go to, um, we can click on the uh, checkbox, and we can see it says identity verified and if we click on connection it says that the connection has been verified and whatever it's encrypted so what this means is if we set security yes then it means that the cookie would only set could it would only work over a HTTPS connection like this um, um, but if we set it to no then it means it will only work on a HTTP connection like this uh, because there's no HTTPS in front of it so uh, let's create a cookie, uh, so we'll just get rid of all this. So let's create a cookie called hello, so the first thing we want to say is the uh, name of the cookie, which is going to be hello, whoops, hello cookie. Uh, the value of the cookie is going to be uh, hello from a PHP cookie. And then the expiry time is kind of weird the way you would write it, but you use the time function, which is like this, like any other function. And then you say plus um, whatever you wanted. So if I wanted to set it for a minute, I would say 3600 because this means get the current time or set the expiry time of the cookie to the current time plus 3600 seconds. So what this means is it, it, whatever the current time is, it just adds one minute onto it. So it means the cookie will inspire in one minute's time. So if we, uh, we can actually close this now. So if we go to our index page and refresh now, it says, okay, to be, um, okay, so the reason that didn't work is because I surrounded this in quotes or right, double quotes even. So if we get rid of that and we just do it again, um, yeah, if we just refresh the page now, it says this is my web page, but there's um, no errors, so that's a good sign. So what we can do now is we can say um, echo uh, dollar sign underscore cookie. And the name of the cookie was hello cookie and we can uncomment this to stop it resetting the cookie every time so here's our uh, cookie um, and we can echo it out now and see what it says and what it should say is hello from a PHP cookie so whoops we just echo it out and it should echo out the value of the cookie and it says hello from PHP cookie this is my web page which is uh, specific, which is actually different so to stop any confusion I'll just get rid of it whoops and refresh it says hello from a PHP cookie so uh, what we can also do is uh, if we want to we could use cookies for a very simple login well sort of guest login system so what we would do first is we would check if the cookie had been set with an if statement so we'd say if is set cookie and then inside the cookie variable we specify the name of the cookie we want to check for so we could just call it user uh, or I don't know guest uh, for the guest login system, and then we would just echo um, hi comma and then just add on the uh, dollar sign underscore cookie guest, uh, and then we could also append on even further and just put an exclamation mark. So if we run this now, we actually will see nothing because the if statement is checking if the cookie's been set. And in our case, the cookie hasn't been set, so it doesn't run this code. And we haven't set um, an alternative. Um, we haven't set like an alternative uh, statement, like an else statement to say whether the cookie's not been set. So if I was to say else not logged in, this way we should get not logged in. Because what it's doing is it's checking is the cookie set, and then it says no, the cookie's not set, so it goes to the else block and echoes uh, not logged in. So we're going to set the guest cookie now. So we're just going to say uh, set cookie 
The name of the cookie is guest, obviously. Uh, the value of it's going to be... Um, let's just say Francis for now. And the um, time is going to be... Whoops, we don't actually need the double quotes. The time is going to be the time function plus... Uh, Let's say one minute, whoops, one minute times 60 times 24 times 7. So that should be one week because it's one minute time, or it's one minute times 60, which is one hour times 24, which is one day times 7, which is one week. So let's try that now. And we had to refresh twice just because the first time the cookie was being set. And then the, uh, the first time what it did is it set the cookie and then it, um, you had to refresh the page before it would actually be able to check if the cookie had been set yet. So that's why we had to refresh it twice. Whoops, and I will put in just a space. So now it says, hi Francis. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And uh, also, well, to the, to the, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, but also to the uh, series if you like it. And don't forget to check out highcode.org for um, uh, video tutorials and text articles. Uh, I'm in the process of writing them now, so it should be a, will be a wee while before they're up. But uh, there is a few currently, and the highcode login system, the main one outside of the form that we saw in this video, doesn't actually work properly yet. It's just uh, I'm in the process of making it. So uh, don't worry if you try to use it and it doesn't work. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.